Yes, hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back. Flight Sim World is the name of the game. Hello to all of you out there watching. I'll be doing some missions tonight. Got to finish some of my training. I've been playing this game a lot more than I thought I would. And, uh, well, no, I shouldn't say that. I'm just playing it more than I thought I would uh, in such a short time. It's a solid game. So hello to all of you out there. Well, we'll be back to other games, Flight Sim, ATS, all that stuff later. But uh, for now, I want to do some Flight Sim World because I recently got it. And it is cool and good. And it's awesome. And I'm going to do some missions. So good news, folks, by the way. Um, we have just turned on something called Ultra Low Latency Mode. So hopefully... That allows you guys to all pretty much interact with me in pretty much real time. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and ask you guys, how many fingers am I holding up on the screen? And I just want to know how long that latency is. How many fingers are up on the screen? That's all, that's all I'm curious about. All right. Oh, that was pretty quick there, Brandt. Okay, so it is pretty quick. All right, now, now what, am I, what am I doing with my hands? Is it, just type it. You don't have to find the emoticon. What am, I, what am I doing with my hands now? Does anyone know? What's up, Papa Pom? All right, cool. I'm just cl curious to see how, how long it takes for anybody to... Uh, oh, yeah. Eh, it took a while for you guys to find clapping. It'll vary, but whatever. It's cool, though, because if I ask a question, or if you guys ask a question, I'll be able to answer it faster. Welcome aboard, Bobby. Thanks for subscribing. Okay, let's get flying some planes, then. Um, I was just basically going to do this on my own, but the cool thing is we get to stream, and I think you guys are able to uh, enjoy it better when I'm actually live than if, I, if it's a video. So we get to all say hello. Again, if you guys hit that subscribe button, your name will pop up here, so join the flight crew here today by hitting that subscribe button. And also, um, go ahead and uh, support us via Super Chat if you want. Uh, slow mode? Yeah, that's so that way uh, people don't just spam chat with the same thing over and over again. Otherwise, it's just, there's just going to be one guy who comes in here and just types carrots, 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 and it's going gonna, it's gonna to ruin chat. Matthew, thank you for subscribing. All right, you guys are all great. Thanks for being here. I'm going to blow up the screen a little bit more here today so I can see a little bit better. Boom. All right. Well, I had a great day uh, today so far, so I hope you did as well. I don't know if this game will be as popular with you guys, but you guys definitely love farming sims, so don't worry. That'll, that'll come along more. But i got to play other stuff, otherwise we'll go crazy. So we are not going to talk about other games. Can you play? Blah, blah, blah. Just check down below in the FAQ, folks. That's where you can find out whether or not I'm going to play this game. Today's chat is going to be dead, too, by the way, because everybody went back to school. I was thinking about streaming last night, but now that I think about it, dead. People are all back at school. Cole, thanks for subscribing. Okay, if you guys are all ready, then I'm ready, too. Let's get right over to Flight Simulator. Okay, here we go. Flight Sim World is the name of the game. Again, it is available on Steam and also is uh, it's pre what do you call it? Pre alpha? No, it's like early access, so it won't be um, you know like perfect. So uh, well, let's get started with some missions then. So I need to do some more training in order to finish um, to get my license. I uh, did some training here. Uh, let's see here. Let's go. Wait, how do we? Uh, wait, how do I? How do I go back to? Oh, lessons. No, I don't want to. There's a way to get back to other lessons. Oh, here we go. Training. All right, so we've already finished our training in the UK uh, with basic light aircraft. We now got to finish some other training so we can get some licenses. In order to do that, we need to get three hours of flight time. We're at an hour and a half. Hopefully, the missions count towards that. Game on, game on indeed. Let's get started then. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and start. What is this? Anything I can change here? Five five minute mission, easy. Okay. All right, we're going to land an aircraft here. Again, you'll see a little bit below and on top in terms of the screen not appearing. And the reason for that is because if I put the game into full screen, it like disables my other monitor, so I have to do it in some sort of weird windowed mode, so whatnot. Uh, yeah, I've been pretty good at flying. I don't think we'll crash. I've been, I mean, I've, I've managed to not crash. If you guys saw uh, today's video, I know you guys are getting a double dose of flight sim, but I like it. And usually, here's how it goes. If, a new g if I get access to a new game, I want to play the heck out of it. Guys, I've got access to so many games, I'm excited. I got access to, uh, to uh, Rock of uh, Rock of Ages and all. Oh man, there, there's a lot of games coming our way. I, I could name them all, but even I can't name keep them straight. Uh, the folks at NASCAR reached out to us. They want us to play their NASCAR game. Uh, just so many opportunities, despite being on a global blacklist. All right, let's get started with a mission here. We're gonna land here at Los Angeles International, I guess. Hot <sighs> Fedoma at the ship ball. You're from Nederlan. Hello to you. November Sierra Kilo, you are cleared on runway 7 left. Pretty Be advised lady. of traffic, Piper 46 to your left, making oh, whoa, whoa. a landing on 6 right. Cleared on 7 left. We have eyes on traffic to our left, November Sierra Kilo. Okay, we are cleared for landing. Pre-landing checklist, please. I don't Seats upright. Yeah. Where are Check. you? Check. <gasps> Seatbelts fastened. Check. Adjust directional gyro. Ooh, I love a euro. Is set. No need to adjust. Altimeter two nine decimal five two. Let's make sure set. that's good. Radio frequencies. All set. Prop RPM is required. Gear down. 
Alright, gear down. Alright, sorry. Gear is down. We're off to a little shaky start because the uh, if required. plane. Alright. Landing lights on. I don't know how to do the landing lights, sorry. Lowering flaps. Let's figure out how to turn those landing lights on so we know how to do this. Uh, controls. There we go. Keys and buttons, landing lights. Will Raptor be able to do this without embarrassing himself? Alright, looks like, uh... Let's try landing. Aha, yeah. All this epic music just for landing a plane. Okay. Hi there, Brant. Good to see you. Hi there, Knights of Armor. Good to see you in chat as well. Okay, we're gonna go to L on this. Is the music a little loud? Holy crap, it's like, it was all epic all of a sudden for no reason. Like, a, he's gonna land a plane, oh my god. Uh, no, I don't want to quit the flight. How do I get back to the flight? Oh, this button. Okay, continue. Alright, light. Check. Okay, we're good. Pre-landing checklist complete. Roger, let's put her on the ground. I don't think her name's Roger, dude. Brewer, thanks for subscribing. Hi there, FS17 Gamer. Hi, everyone in chat. NASCAR got back to me. Yeah, and they, oh yeah, did I not? Oh, I didn't say that to you, did I? Did I? Did I not mention that? Yeah, they emailed me and uh, well, they well, we'll talk, Nick. We'll talk. Yeah, NASCAR. We we're gonna be into the NASCAR Heat Two, uh, a game called Rock of Age. I forget the name of it. Bigger and Bolder, Rock of Ages Two. Um, got access to uh, oh, Production Line. Blaine, thanks for subscribing. Production Line is another game I got access to. Uh, earlier as well uh, earlier meaning like on Monday um, so yeah we got we got a lot of stuff to uh, we got a lot of games to play guys so thank you everyone for viewing every video and thank you for liking it too by the way if you want to see more of this hit that like button it, it doesn't it doesn't like magically give me money or like make my life any better but it does make it easier on to know what you guys want to see me play so if you guys like farming simulator make sure you always hit that like button so I know you like it if you guys want to see more uh, Metal War Assault Squad Remember, hit that like. Anytime you like something, hit the like button so I can give you more of what you want. Otherwise, I don't know. Uh, can I play World War II? Yep, there'll be more of that on the channel. So all you guys saying, are you going? You know, can you do this? Can you do that? The answer is yes. It's just going to take some time. All right, everyone. Uh, thank you for flying Rat Pack Airlines. We'll be landing in. Uh, actually, this is LAX, isn't it? We'll be landing at uh, Los Angeles International in about uh, two minutes. Uh, if you like quality content, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, don't, don't forget to tip your waitress. Oh, there's some wind going on here. I've, I've been getting a little better at flying, you guys. I'm, I'm kind of a natural, but uh, still got some... Obviously, every every flight gives you a little bit more skill. So let's see if we can come in straight on this one. Now we're just going to try to glide all the way down to the runway. We're doing real well here. All right, let's pull back on that throttle, girl. Oh... My God. Uh oh. We're sending too much. No. Trimano, thank you for subscribing. Oh, there we go. Now we're starting to come down. Oop, a little to the left. Oh, well. Practice makes perfect. At least we got a tiny plane and we're not a commercial jet. Okay, let's let her down gently. Hey, that was pretty good. Okay, not bad. We did it. Go, Raptor, go. I know. Wait, where do you want me to go? We going to Wendy's? Uh, I'll play this if I can transport Metallica to a gig. Actually, Nick, there are missions um, that people have made on the workshop, so I wouldn't be surprised if you know what? It, I wouldn't put it past him if somebody made a uh, a plane with a you know Metallica logo on it or something, or like the whole skin of uh, of an album or or something, and then uh, has a mission where you have to transport them from one spot to the other. So, okay, well we're gonna go all the way to the end. Where do I have to go exactly? We're on Remember the ground. Sierra Kilo? Exit oh. to the left at any taxiway. Oh, thank you. Uh, nice flight. I can't wait to stretch my legs. Oh my god, are you hitting on me? Oh. All right, we're pulling in here quick. She's uh, she's ready to go. All right. I'm drifting, boys. Watch out. You're going in the grass. No, I'm not. What? Hey, lady. Uh, I don't know that. I, you know, I'm no expert, sweetie, but uh, that's a tarmac there. Come on. What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hi there, gaming with Gabe. Inc mission incomplete. Yeah, you know. Well, that 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 hard that hard uh, you know that hard uh, gravel like grass. Man, it'll get you every time. Oh, that sucked. All right, well we'll come back to that one. That was an easy mission anyway. Ooh, here's some. Here we go. This is some in more interesting missions. Oh, what are these? Approaches, ferry. Oh. 
What is this? A hamburger mitt? What is this? Thank you very much, Dijon, for subscribing. You are flying for fun today. Take off from Delta Heritage and plan to make a landing in Vancouver, but careful, you're entering a busy airspace. I thought we were going out for burgers. Situational. Icy conditions at a stretch. Vo what's voice of reason? It seems you're trapped in the clouds. Look at your instruments. Oh. Central Europe. Overpowered, impossible turn, cross control. Ooh, some of these are like hard. Taxi missions. Is this like where you're... Oh, wait, that sounds... Oh, short hops. Oh, that might be cool. Midnight Express in like the Netherlands? Where, where do we start here? Take passengers on a flight from Lugano to Koblenz, Winnegan, Germany. Eh, that's a pretty cool looking plane though. That's a diamond craft. Oh, hub. North Atlantic Ferry. Alright, let's... Ooh, what's Scud Runner? Alright, let's redo the landing because that was easy. And she just freaked out all about the... Uh, all about the landing. Be careful, God, you're on the ground. Oh man. Alright, everybody, what am I doing right now? I want to see, we have ultra low latency on, so I want to see how quickly it takes everybody to uh, find out what I'm doing on screen. Let's see who can get it first. You get a shout out if you find out what I'm doing. Go baby, go. Come on, anybody? Come on. Nobody? There we go. Cade got it. Thumbs up to you there, Cade. Alright, cool. So, um, the cool thing is we're now in, um, we're now in low latency mode, so anytime um, I'm live, you guys should be able to see me pretty much two seconds after I do something. November so Sierra Kilo, you are cleared on runway 7 oh, left. Be advised of traffic, Piper 46 to your left, making a landing on 6 right. That's your big Gen 4. We have eyes on traffic to our left, November Sierra Kilo. Okay, we are cleared for landing. Pre-landing checklist, please. Seats upright. Yep. Check. Seat belts fastened. Check. Mine didn't come with one. Adjust directional gyro. Is set. No need tomato, to adjust. Please. Altimeter two nine decimal five two. Set. Radio frequencies. All set. Prop RPM is required. Gear down. Gear is down. Flaps if required. Landing lights on. Lowering flaps. Check. Pre-landing checklist complete. Very good. Roger, let's put her on the ground. Okay, let's do it this time. I guess we landed last time, but I guess we got a taxi somewhere. So, an additional annoying step. Dab on them haters. Yes, yes, John. We have been doing a lot of dabbing on those haters. Indeed we have. I like this epic music for just like a simple landing. Landings are exciting, though. Why does my hand look weird? What? Uh, oh, I'm holding a joystick. Uh, I've got a throttle and a joystick right here. Though I would have to get like a separate camera on that. I think you guys probably want to see how pretty I am a little bit better, huh? November Zealer Kilo. Curler. Yep. Alright, let's come on in for a landing. Hopefully this one's a little easier. So everyone make sure you buckle your seatbelt now. Big O flying. That's right, Cade. Big O. That's right. All right, so we're going to try to straighten her out here with the runway. And we'll be good here in a moment or two. Who is my passengers? Uh, let's see. We've got uh, Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy. And uh, Batman and the Tooth Fairy. And also Batman. I'm cute. Yeah, Defo Git thinks I'm cute. All right, man. Life is good for me. Uh, when am I going to do another walk and talk? Eh, I don't know. Probably not for a while, because the... You know what those were? That was me basically wanting to stream, but not wanting to play games, but I did miss you guys. Yeah, you're right. Don't go in the grass. You're right, Blade. We'll, we'll, we'll be avoiding the grass. Hi there, Francisco. Good to see you in chat. Okay, we're going to see if we can set this one down. Scotty B says I'm sick. Oh, you guys are too nice. You guys are too nice. Thank you. Lower down? Yep, we're going down, Peter. We're uh, losing altitude at a pretty steady rate. Uh, we're at about uh, just uh, 1,500 feet. We're a little too far to the left, though. Let's straighten that out. Get the rudder going. Come on, rudder. All right, so we're going to try to basically touch down in that dark area. That's where all the tires touch down, so we'll see if we can do this. I'm too nice. Sometimes I get crabby, though. Like, I've... 
I've shouted at everybody from Nick to Daniel. I don't really mean anything by it. I'm just trying to... Most of the time, I'm tired and hungry. Probably mostly hungry. But, uh... That's eh, all good. The guy... We... I think we've got mutual respect in our community. And if not, too bad. All right. Let's go for that touchdown. Uh-oh. Oh, am I going to be short of the runway? I better not be. I'm just trying to get in that dark zone. There we go. Gentle, 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 gentle. All right. And down. Down, 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 down. There we go. Alright, we have touchdown. Breaking, breaking, breaking. And we'll uh, exit as soon as we've got slow enough on the runway here. There we go, we'll be exiting here. November Sierra Kilo, exit to the left at any taxiway. Nice flight. I can't wait to stretch my legs. You better not complain about the grass again, Carol. Otherwise, I'm throwing you out on the next flight. Oh, well, look at that. Isn't that cute? There's a... There's like a uh, fire truck waiting for us. Okay, we did it. Very good. Oh, we're pulling in. What's up? No no grass this time. That was easy. Okay, landing is good. Alright, mission complete. Oh, flight time is zero? Alright, one thing, developers... Uh, flight time and mission should count towards uh, flight time in the game. Multiplayer should also count towards flight time in the game. Not doing that kind of sucks because it makes me not want to play those then. Okay, let's go on to ferry missions. Actually, the, the taxi mission sounded kind of cool from like, what's this one? Short hops. Another busy day in the wilderness of flying. Moving passengers, basic supplies between camps. Oh, cool. So we're going to take off, do a landing, and then take off and do a landing here in Alaska. It's going to be big old fun. I made that look easy? Eh. It, I had it the first time, and then I was goofing off, but I, I figured they would have a little bit more leniency. So, yes, you, you like this type of content? Good. Everybody go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know that you hit the thumbs up button, too. Everybody who said that they like, get a shout-out as well. So everybody watching right now, hit that like button, folks. We can get her up to 100 right now. I guarantee it. So everybody, hit that like button. Let me know you want to see more. That's all it does for me. That's all it does. Oh, you hit the like too, Savage Gamer. Awesome. Very nice, Francisco. Very nice. You guys are great. And uh, Shea, thank you for subscribing. You guys are awesome. Okay, let's go into the plane and let's see what our next mission is. have just dropped off supplies 20 miles from base camp at Harlequin Lake. Heading over to Alsek River for another drop and then collection of one passenger. Oh, we're grabbing a passenger. Okay. That is Mesa Radio, Cub 144 at one way one two, taking off VFR to the southeast. Tennis Mesa. Okay, I, I was waiting for like any sort of clearance. Uh, are we like the only one here? Oh, I thought there was. I thought there'd be like somebody to tell us we're okay. Oh, well, I guess okay. We're taking off. We're taking off, baby. Just like Uthras' channel. Make sure you subscribe now, ladies. He is not single, but he is ready to mingle. If you want to see more great entertainment, Uthras.com forward slash rap back. Okay, let's get out of here. Full throttle. We're already taking off. Very good. Well, they make it easy in this game with the. Uh, with the little uh, indicators, I guess, since we don't have our bearings straight yet. Oh Lord, says Uth Oh Lord, child. Lord. Late. The Hopefully name of the game is in the uh, before the sun goes down description. The airstrip is Tight. fairly close; shouldn't be a problem. Well, we gotta we gotta land before the sun goes down. Yeah, so if you want a free game, by the way, a free game is waiting for you in the description. So, uh, and hello there to uh, Papa Palm as well as uh, Uthris, two of our moderators here. I also saw Nick as well. I haven't seen coffee in chat for a while, or encrypted. They're probably just chilling, having their coffee. You've flown planes before? Very cool. That's awesome. Yes, it's Flight Sim World. But I always want everyone to read that title. Get in a good habit of reading that title, because Raptor always puts it up there. Okay, so is this the next airstrip? Like, th is this where we're landing, or do we have to make it to the... Wait, is that the next airstrip? Wait, it's getting late. Hopefully we make this run before the sun goes down fairly close. This shouldn't be a problem. Oh, well, there's the airstrip there, so we got to come in for a turn then. I, I thought I thought we just had to fly forward. I think that's the airstrip. All right, let's make a turn. We were, like, maxing out there for a second. Do some stunts? Well, it might cancel the mission if I go upside down or something. 
And in order to get a shout out, no need to spam chat with hi. Doing hi 15 times will get you immediately ignored. So in order to get a shout out, just hit the subscribe button. In order to get a shout out, go ahead and uh, support us via super chat. It is an airstrip down there, though it kind of doesn't look like one. Is it? Wait, it is one, isn't it? I can't. Is that the. It is an airstrip. It's just a weird, like, sandy area. Yeah, guys, no need to spam chat with the same messages, too. Landon73, thank you for subscribing. There you go, Landon. See? That's all you gotta do. Easy peasy. I'm okay, Peter. How do I know where to go? Uh, there's indicators on the map. Oh, I guess... Oh, that's the strip. I thought it was that big O area. Well, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to make a lot tighter turn than there's I wanted to. River. Time to set up for a landing and passenger pickup. Alsek River Radio, Cup 144, landing runway 07, Alsek River. Oh my god. We'll see if we can do this. You have to leave? Alright, Gaming with Gabe. Have yourself a good night. Bye. Alright, let's line her up. Boy, this is going to be a real horrible idea. But I didn't know the strip was here. I thought it was back there. Eh, we got this. This plane, the cool thing about this plane is it's tiny. First of all, why not cut down the tree next to the... I don't know. I'm no expert, but maybe that tree right there on the left's got to go. I mean, you know. It just seems like a bad idea. That's all I'm saying. All right, we're dropping flaps now. Oh, don't complain about the grass. We're close enough. There we go. Oh, now it does count for fly. Oh, it's because I was in a single engine. That's why. Unload the supplies. Take on a passenger. Yeah, we got in the grass, but we got down safely. Hey, good to see you again. Who are you? All right, we all set. Okay, let's turn around, take off, and head back to base camp before the sun goes down. But I just don't know who you are. Who are you? Invisible man, Alsek oh my river god. Radio, Cup 144, taking off runway 25, VFR to the west, Alsek River. I'm just going to make a turn here. Back into that tree I hated from before. Alright, let's turn. Should be enough room. I can't even see. Oh, okay. Well, we'll give her some power and let's get out of here. Oh, man. Boy, these turn these planes don't really turn much, do they? Alright, ready and go. Alright, flaps back down and we should be up over the trees in about five seconds. Boop. Bye, tree. Alright, we're good. Okay, ha time to head home. Where's the uh, runway 25? Is that back where we came from? Let me do a little peek here. I don't even know where we're going. Oh my goodness, Gene, thanks for the $2. Can I play Arma? Um, I kind of own it, but I, I don't know. There's so much to learn, I feel. But also, I I'm kind of afraid to take risks. Because when I play new things sometimes, all you guys just want to see like Farming Sim. And when I play something that's not Farming Sim, nobody kind of nobody watches. So it's always like, should I, should I not? I don't know. But thank you very much, Gene. Appreciate that. All right, I do not know where I'm supposed to go, but I guess what we'll do is we'll just check the mini-map. Oh, there's no map. Great. Oh, there is. Flight planner. Oh, we're heading the right way already. Wait, no, we're not. we got to fly up there. So we got to circle back. This game's stinky sometimes with its thing. All right, anyway. Oh, and of course, magically, there it is. We only got to fly that far? That doesn't seem right. You want me to land the rip? That Hold on a second. We better check that out. Oh, they want us to land there and then back. Okay. So they wanted us to land here. Or no. Ah, all right. Oh, do we have to hit all these? Or, or, oh, boy. Oh, I don't know. All right. Anyway. I guess we have to turn back to the base camp. So this is it here. I'm not sure, though. 
Oh, man. And again, folks, if you want to know when I'm playing something different, just check the FAQ. I can't, uh, can't always play the same stuff, because otherwise I can't play the new stuff. So, we'll play what's new. When we have nothing else to do, we'll go back and play some ATS and Euro Truck and stuff. Super Blair, thanks for subscribing. Are we in being instructed to land here? This just seems like a checkpoint. There's no... Wait, oh yeah, I'm not... I don't think I have, uh... I don't think I can float. We'll just fly over this. There we go. Okay, it's just a waypoint. Would have been easier if they just marked it as the airport. You want to see me fly a 747? In this game, it is uh, general propeller aircraft only at the moment, but you are right. I would really think it'd be awesome to be able to, like, take you all on a flight. Like, imagine if we had, like, 500 people watching and everybody got, like, a first-class seat. It would be a whole first-class flight. Wouldn't that be beautiful? That would be big-o. That would be big-o cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and see here. Keep up the great video. Somebody said in a comment. Oh, that's so nice. That's nice. Mediocre at best, maybe. Oh, man. I forgot we left some things at the airship from the other day. I was hoping we could stop and pick them up real quick. Wait, what? All right. We can stop and get them, but we aren't going to get close. That sun is going down fast. Oh, he wants to change? Okay. Yeah, that Dino Diner. That'll come along someday, folks. Wow, I'm really surprised. So, um, yeah, the audience tonight is light. So school is definitely uh, is a factor here. And uh, I don't know if you guys like flight games as well. It's always an interesting thing. I always want to make sure you guys are, like, enjoying the show. So just remember to hit that like button if you want to see more. Hi there, Drama. Good to see you. School equals death. Yeah. Some people will probably say, like, yeah, you know, jeez. Not a lot of people watching. It's all over, but that's not always the that's not always the case either. It's not. If we had ten thousand people watching, I think I'd still want to play this again, and I still do. All right, let's go in for a turn here, and I think the runway runs this way, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All right, we, we made a nice. Tennis Mesa Radio, Cub November four four, landing runway three zero, Tennis Mesa. Tennis Mesa sounds like either a planet or some, like, place in Arizona. Austin, welcome aboard. Thanks for subscribing. All right, we're going to cut back on that power. Look at how it's indicating to the left that that's where the runway is. Is that is that really where the runway is? Because I think it's right here. And boy, oh, boy, is that a crappy runway. It looks literally like a dirt road. We should have came in from the other way. Oh, well, get ready, folks. We're putting her down. Up over the trees, good. Not too bad. Yeah, actually, Train Sim World. I did contact them for Train Sim World, and they'll be sending over a copy for that as well. They just want to see me play a little bit of this first. And to be fair, as a developer, if uh, if s you give somebody a key, you know it's only fair if I play it. Oh, this can be rough. Sorry, there was a little bounce there. I got to learn that with the smaller aircraft. All right, Steve, get out and get your stuff. Wow, the guy in the front looks like Sylvester. I'll be a sec, get the things I need. Why is, he, why is everybody British? I don't get it. Wait, that was it? I thought we were... Oh. I thought there was another stop to make. Okay. Alright, so we beat, we beat two missions so far. What's low and slow? You work for a small adventure company flying customers out to local wilderness camps. Keep them happy. Oh, we're going to go and stop at like some cool, uh, like some scenic. We're doing some scenic tours. Okay. Well, that, that's pretty. I like pretty. Hmm. All right. Well, since we have instantaneous chat, let's do some competitions then. Uh, first of all, I want anybody in chat to guess What's the color of the plane right now? Go. What's the color of that plane on the screen? What, what is it? You guys got to tell me. Quick, hurry up. I need somebody Somebody to tell me. Quick. Hurry. Who's going to be the first one to win? Oh, Silent Scotty with the red. Very good, Scotty. All right. Very good. All right, let's take off now. Rose. Ooh, rainbows. Actually, a little bit more right. Like, it is kind of a, it is kind of a, kind of a rose color. That's a good point. Let's let's take a All look right. from exterior. Gear is packed. We're ready to go. Base camp is just down the coast at Harlequin Lake Airstrip. 
Shouldn't take British. as long to get there. Why is everyone British? Yakutat Radio, Cub 144 at runway 20, taking off via far to the southwest. Yakutat. Tyler, thanks for subbing. Yakutat. Alright. So. Uh. Wait, we want to take off to the southwest. Okay, so that's going to be this direction. Okay. Oh, not too fast. There we go. Okay, adventure here I come. Oh, right. Wait, this guy's doing all of our flight instructions because... Oh, that's east. Crap. Okay, sorry. First day, I think. All right, so this guy probably wants to go see some sights and such, so we'll uh, get him onto the runway and start taking off. And full power. Wow, that was easy. Oh, wow! Amazing! Any crashes this stream? Probably not, unless the game crashes. We're going crashes. to head toward the coastline. It'll lead us toward the base camp at Harlequin Lake. Alright, so we don't want to go too fast with this guy, so we'll just keep it right at about... right about here. There we go. No, I haven't crashed yet. I mean, to, to crash, I think you really got to be doing a lot of things wrong. We have to do some mining sometimes. I want to do... Oh, that would be cool. Do you have any mining stuff ready at Rainbow? Uh, sorry, R Rambo. Rainbow. Sorry. I think it's all the sky. Yes, Rambo. Uh, very, uh, very good mod maker for farming simulator, folks. If you haven't checked out his channel, please do so. If you can't get enough farming sim, please subscribe to him. He will... Uh, be doing as much inter actually he probably plays way more than me so if you can't get enough of farming sim check out Rambo and uh, there's apparently some mining going on actually I, I think I did see like a big old coal pit that you had working on which I thought was pretty cool so uh, yeah if you want to play I guess uh, any time's a good time except sometimes I'm busy that's horrible that's that's a bad way to say that can he fly low along the coastline give me something to brag about Low along the coastline? Okay. Oh, Jesus. That guy's getting whipped around, boy. He wants to go, like, here? I guess we'll just drive in a straight line. Fly. Fly in a straight line. Alright. Oh, a little lower would be great. Get us nice and close with the water. And you moderators can snipe that one out of there. Go low. He, uh, let's see. A little lower would be good. Get us close to the water. Okay. Oh boy. He wants. He wants us to crash. Uh, let's see here. Boom! Pop a palm with the snipe. Man, Papa Palm just doesn't let anything pass, man. Dude, Papa Pom, I, now I'm starting to think you, sh you should have came with us to the amusement park. That would that would have been lit and dank. But Ben would have thought it was cringe. And what's the opposite of dank? Not dank? I'll have to, I'll have to ask him for more things. Because now I just want to ride a roller coaster again. I guess I get my year in. Every year I go ride some roller coasters and stuff. Big O trees, yeah. All right, we're about as low as we can get, I think, legally. Oh boy, there's always a little bit of lag. My computer, of course, is not the best. She's, she's getting at the end of her lives, boys. So it's about time for me to do a big old PC upgrade. So again, for those of you supporting via Super Chat, for those of you viewing, for those of you hitting the like button, you are supporting uh, the future of better entertainment. I'll buy a bigger computer. And what do you think Raptor's going to use that big old computer for? Making videos and streaming. So hopefully no lag, 1080p, good quality stuff. She's just on the last of her life, and uh, I'm, I'm just going to do a complete rebuild. Nick's going to help, and I'm really happy because, like, Nick is smart, and I'm not. So, hopefully, hopefully it makes for a good PC. Hey, what's up, Montessor? Good to see you in chat. Money Sour. I think you need to change your name. Money Sour. Curve Monitor. Yeah, I know. Well, I spent, I spent, I spent pretty big on the, on the tour uh, when the guys were over. I actually spent way more than I thought I did, but... That's all right. Spare no expense for friends, and, uh, well, that, that's you guys included, too. So when I get the upgrade, it's all for you guys. I want to make sure it's the best of the best. Curve monitor could be cool. Maybe I'll splurge a little. That'll be for me. 
but the PC will be for you guys because then I can run better games. And guess what? Then we can start doing those like big o army videos where it's like 10 billion soldiers versus 10 billion. And maybe Men of War. Maybe I'll be able to load Men of War in 40 minutes instead of an hour. I know. I'm so excited. All right. Here was our next checkpoint. We got this guy pretty low. Like, does he just want to like go this way? I guess. This chat up in the corner is annoying. Can we minimize that? There we go. I think maximize is spelled with a Z, isn't it? Maximize. They spelled it M-I-S-E, in the upper right corner. How do you get the game? Uh, well, I spoke with the developers and they gave me a copy, but you can find it on Steam. Uh, they gave us a few copies actually, and I gave those to all my friends. So uh, I think. Well, you guys saw actually. If you want to see some multiplayer. Uh, Montessor, me, Uthras, and uh, Pinto all flew around in Florida, which was really cool. Matt, thanks for subscribing. Uh, let's see, 1.2... Oh my god, Montessor with the math. Yeah, that was pretty funny, Montessor. Alright, so we're just going... We're just on kind of a low low and slow kind of flight. We're kind of right at our... Right at the threshold here at about 100 miles... On, or is that... My, well, airspeed knots. Ah, oh, Silent Scotty, thanks, man. Thanks for the five dollars. You save that for yourself, though, for your own your own audience and entertainment. But thank you, Sc uh, Scotty. Scotty does run his own YouTube channel as well. So again, if you cannot get enough farming simulator, check out Rambo. If you cannot get enough farming simulator, check out Scotty. Make sure you subscribe to both of those guys. Always streaming, always making entertainment. It's good stuff. They're making me look bad. How do you get all the mods? Um, well, I guess you have to. The trouble with asking that question is that we've played with a billion different mods, so I guess you have to know which ones specifically. And if you know what they are, I would just say Google it. So, for example, if we were, well, let me let me first by saying this: um, in the in the actually, I don't, I don't see the Nightbot in here again tonight. I don't know, I don't know if it's been broken or not, but the Nightbot every time we've been streaming uh, should be linking. Uh, Rambo's website to it as well and actually if one of our moderators wants to link Rambo's website that would be cool if you want to find some farming sim mods Rambo also makes his own mods seriously like Rambo is like it's almost like I don't think this exists anywhere in the world but it's almost like a farm that has its own burger joint like imagine a farm that you know grows the wheat for the bun grows the lettuce uh, it's almost like the Dino Diner. Yes, uh, actually, there you go. Per perfect. Anybody wants to see Dino Diner, go over to Rambo's site because he does everything from the beginning. Makes his own mods. The man is a genius. I saw what he was doing in the coal pits. I, I don't know how you work that editor, but man, some some people like that deserve all the credit on YouTube. I, d I just play games and I'm funny, mostly funny looking. But uh, people like Uthras and Rambo and stuff. All these people just like, yeah, I, I built a 500. I uh, you know, I, I built a square. Uh, complete one uh, one by one uh, replica of downtown Manhattan uh, it took me 362 hours I'm thrilled I got 2,000 views and it's like this should have a billion views like things that take a lot of effort should have a billion views that's my opinion but then next thing you know somebody just shooting their friend in the butt with a firecracker 200,000 200, views go figure uh, again if you hit that subscribe button that is the greatest way to get a shout out folks your name will pop up on screen I can't miss you sometimes I will but it's a lot easier than just saying shout out shout out shout out uh, let's see yeah I don't have an Xbox I uh, only play on PC I guess I don't have console because it just feels like it'd be weird to play on the PC however Elgato did send me a, a PC cap or I mean a uh, some sort of a screen cap well what would you call it? I guess a capture card that will capture PS4, Xbox, that kind of stuff, and then put it on the PC. So I could do that. However, I will say this. Any game that's available on PC, I'd rather have it on PC. And there's a few reasons for that. One, multiplayer is a lot easier. Two, I can use TeamSpeak. Three, the mods are just that much easier. And four, it's just so much easier to make videos and uh, stream with it just being a PC game. However, there are certain games, like, for example, uh, um, what was that? one game that just recently came out uh, oh Uncharted right there's like solid uh, what would you call them exclusives that are only for console and those are like the only reason really to have console now for those of you guys who can't really afford PCs consoles are great you guys can play everything that everyone else is playing pretty much and not have to worry about it it's more of like a, a frugal gamer really um, for example the PC I'm playing on now was probably about maybe almost five thousand dollars at the time um, but there you go. Uh, Nicole, you might want to learn how to spell, sweetheart, before you start insulting and being angry in chat. Just go ahead and uh, get a little time out. There you go, Nick. 
Nick's putting a uh, plastic bag over her head now, and we'll be uh, talking to her out in the parking lot with a brick. Uh, Leroy, thank you very much for subscribing. Very nice. One of our moderators. Like, they're like bouncers. Like, all I'm doing is sitting here playing an airplane game, and just flying in a straight line, and somebody's just like super like angry. Hey! You're. Campbell's soup is better than Dinty Moore. And it's like. Sir, I. I like soup too. I don't. I don't understand what, what anybody has against Chunky or, actually, Dinty Moore is probably the best. All right, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take a stand for Dinty Moore. You know what I miss? You guys remember? I think it was Donovan. Oh, what was his name? Donovan. Donovan McNabb, did, uh, like Chunky's soup commercials back in like the early 2000s. It was always funny because it was like he would bust in through the wall. Like there, the, the the. I think it was like this. I I'm probably wrong about this, but the way I picture it is. Donovan McNabb would basically bust in through a fake concrete wall or something like that, knock a bunch of bricks out of the way, screaming, and then his mom would like come up to him and uh, like take a towel and like dab his face off, like "Come here, baby," and then you know they'd sit down and she would basically make him like a, a bowl of soup. To which it's like Donovan McNabb, I think your mom would probably not want you to eat chunky silky. Thanks for subscribing. She'd prob good a good mom would probably want to make her boy you know a good soup. Now. Uh, we got we got to talk soups, folks. What is everybody's favorite soup? Everybody in chat right now, what is your favorite soup? Now, soups are an interesting thing. You can pick stews, you can pick soups. Hell, you can even pick chili. And I'll put all those out there right there. Uh, stew for me, just got to be good old good old big old beef stew. Uh, chicken noodle soup's probably my favorite. And then as for a chili, I'd love a good like. Chi I, I like chicken chili. Uh, I don't know what that is. Sometimes people can just make some crazy stuff. The good thing about working at, a, at an office is sometimes you'll get people who are just, like, insane. Like, they think that their raise depends on them being Gordon Ramsay. No, not Gordon Ramsay. That'd be too low. It, they think they're like Wolfgang Puck or something like that, trying to, like, defeat the aliens through cooking. They'll make some crazy stuff. A barbecue? Barbecue soup? Or barbecue, barbecue, do you mean, like, chili? Chicken noodle soup. Yeah, chicken noodle soup is good. Yeah, I like that. the airstrip's just a little way up the river. Oh good, this guy just wants us to go up the river. So we're basically trying to take our time. Plus, since this is a single um, engine aircraft, all we have to do is just go slow. We get more flight time, and thus it will unlock our thing pretty good. Yeah, chili is good. I like chili. It's, it's all good. It's definitely solid. You know what's really good in chili? By the way, the best part about chili, I love just putting crackers in it. Uh, I liked your walking stream, mostly jet planes. Yeah, I know. I was just bored. I don't. Sometimes I don't know what to do. Uh, I I also cooked recently on stream, but that was basically an excuse to try to test out my 4K uh, streaming camera, which interestingly enough only streamed in 480. I don't know if it was me, my settings or something, but I definitely want to do more live streams. I definitely want to do uh, a live. Well, I don't know. I feel like I want to do a live unboxing or build of my PC, but I also think that if I did a video of it, that might even be better because then I can really do some cool camera work on how good it's going to look, like really get some close-ups, or I could do both. But we'll see. You subscribed and your name didn't pop up, so make sure you check the description as to see why that happened. Check the description there, folks. 360 degree camera. Yeah, then you can see failure at all angles. Carry on. Thank you very much for subscribing. Yeah, if it doesn't show, it just means your subscriptions were set to private. But sometimes YouTube's to blame for that as well. Now, a cool thing is YouTube is actually going to have some really cool bonuses coming for its streamers very soon and you guys as viewers. The cool thing is this. Eventually, there will be YouTube sponsorships. You now, it, it involves you to pay a little bit of money to the YouTubers that you like. But the cool thing is, for those of you who hate TV or want to give a little something extra to the YouTuber you like, here's the good part. Like, who, who cares about the money? Yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll cost money, whatever. Are you going to get emoticons and stuff that only you get to use in chat and you'll get a cool badge next to your name as well so you could like take priority for shout outs like for example if if i ever look over and i see somebody with like the raptor logo or something next to their name i'll be like holy crap what's up dude you know that kind of stuff so um sponsorships are coming soon seems pretty exciting i'm, I'm excited to it how do you download TeamSpeak 3? Uh, you can go ahead and check in the description as well there is i believe a tutorial on how to do that this river is pretty I actually didn't know there was snow in the game. I only saw, like, deserts and forests so far, but it is nice to know that we're in the tundra of Alaska. Yeah, you can Google it. Uh, if, you have any, if, you have, uh, if you need any special help, just go ahead and Google it. Oh, there we go. That, that actually helps a lot more. Let's zoom out. <coughs> now I can see all the controls. What have you missed? Um, 
I don't know, flying a plane? I don't know what to say. Uh, Raptor, what is your favorite type of french fries, says Dominic. It's a good question. Um, I don't... That, that's like saying what's your favorite pizza or ice cream. There's not really a bad one. They're all good, but there's some better than others. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I like the I like the homemade oven baked fries. I like Five Guys fries. I like um, McDonald's. Bur you know, they all have something a little different. They're <clears throat> it's just like saying what's your favorite type of supercar. Like they're all. If somebody asked me, hey, what if we could get you a car? What what car would you get? And I'll be like, well, let me give you a list. How many of them can you get? Like it's hard to choose one. It's the same with color. I don't know. There's so many things. I don't know. What 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 am I gonna say? I don't know. Anthony, thanks for subscribing. The list is too long, yeah. I guess I would say if if I was to get fries, number one would have to be like you know what I really want? Instead of fries, can I cheat a little bit, guys, and say potato wedges? Would that be okay? Like if I said potato wedges with like um some places give you uh what what is it? Like they give you like a sour cream. Do they give you what is that? A sour cream? It's got, got like chives in it or something. Waffle fries. Never mind. I'm taking that back. Waffle fries. I'm gonna go ahead and say waffle fries. That's what I'm going for. There you go. With the uh with the, the sour cream dip. Oh man. Why don't more places serve that? Like the only fast food place I can think of that serves uh waffle fries is Chick fil A. Are there do you guys know of any other fast food restaurant that order or that you can order uh, waffle fries at? Drew, do you know? Devil gets says curly fries. See, can't, can't go wrong. I don't think there's a wrong answer to fries. Like nobody can get upset. And anybody, it's like, it's like for example, if your son only likes cheese pizza, he's only limiting himself to his opportunities in the future. Pop, pop, pop. But you know, there's so many great opportunities out there. <laughs> you know, it, it's like you know, with with pizza. I guess the only thing I would say is that with pizza, you can't you can't have too many toppings, otherwise it's buried. So, for Looks example, like with this fries. Strip over there. Oh, I'll there's... make a turn and follow the river. Oh, this way. Where's the strip? I don't. Where's the strip? Oh my god! I just like 360'd my head. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, long story short, French fries. Um, Oh, garlic. Oh, barbecue and garlic mayo. What? Peter says barbecue and garlic mayo. Workshire lad, thank you very much for subscribing. Do I plead BMMG Drive? Yes, I do. Oh, Pom, don't swear in chat. Your dad might have to time you out, Pom. Dad might have to time you out. And possibly ground you. I have these types of powers, Pom. Ah, it was nice to meet you, Pom. It's good to see you here, too, by the way. Man, Pom ate Harlequin like a radio. king. Cup November 44, landing runway 23. Harlequin. So Pom had a uh, like a Philly cheese steak when we were here. I made the mistake of having like a giant plate of way too many fries with just uh, with just like cheese and bait. That was a mistake. I mean that was just, that was a bad that was a bad choice. Uh, Levi, thanks for subscribing. Uh, let's see what else did Pom have specifically? If I can remember. Oh yeah, didn't you have like French fries, dude? Pom, when we went to when we went to the amusement park, I bought a soda, a brat, and French fries. Do you know how much that was? $16 for french fries, brat, and like a medium drink. Like at that point, I should have just collected rainwater and grew my own farm like somewhere in like a, a, a flower, uh, you know, a potting soil somewhere. My God. I think Pom just got french fries. And uh, what else was there? All right, so we had, um, so we had chili... Uh, Philly cheesesteak. Uh, I can't remember what we had. Oh, and on the la oh yeah, you got a turkey leg too, which you could barely finish. I had to like polish that off. Pom's lucky I was there. I was like, somebody was like, Raptor, Raptor, you're mooching off his food, and it's like, hey, I just bought you guys tickets. Just be nice. I just, I needed a little nimble. Besides, it's my natural habitat. It was like, a, oh, are we? Oh, we died. Oh, I was totally not paying attention. Well, oh, actually, we touched the water. Oh, I. They need to get. Uh, uh, water-based aircraft. Brittany, thanks for subscribing. Oh, I do get the flight time for it, though. 31 minutes. Yes, that's the biggest bonus. Who cares about the mission? We can always replay it for more flight time. Actually, let's go back and see how much we have in flight time. Oh, what? 1.6 hours. What is this game? What is this game with the .6? Oh, do I not get it because I, like, crashed? Or, well, technically. What the fuck? This game. Wait, what's Blender? Oh, wait, I won't get points for this because it's double engine. Why do you select? Why did? Why does it? Oh, don't don't do that! It's pick. It's picking missions that I don't. 
But how do I go back to missions, though? Oh, here. Oh, here we go. What else is there? Return to base camp. You'll need to hurry as the airport's closing for the night. Oh, okay. All right, well, there you go. First first crash, I guess, because I was coming in for a landing, and I was more... See? I, w I was more concerned about the fries. Uh, Silky Business, once you've tried to subscribe, if it didn't work, it's, it's just never going to work. But wel welcome aboard. I'm giving you a shout-out. Welcome. Uh, let's see. How's the, how was the popsicle? Palm had a popsicle? I don't think so. Man, I was trying to take as many pictures as I could for everybody because I knew I knew we were going to need to like get some backup footage just in case something went wrong. We got all that footage of us. Oh man, that that arcade. That is just legendary, Pom. We spent money to go to an arc uh, an amusement park and spent most of the time in the arcade. And we rented a helicopter to basically fly to a casino to play penny slots and uh, go to the arcade as well. We got problems. This community's got problems. Okay, let's see. What foods don't I like? Oh, I don't know. Um, I guess there's foods that I just prefer over others. Okay, let's do another um, let's do another f mission because they're really easy to set up. Let's go to Europe this time. What's going on over here? Nope, can't pick that one because it's double aircraft. Uh, double. Uh, what's up with this music, man? There's only one approach. Scud Runner. What's this? Abandoned for a reason. Oh, here we go. Uh, popular four-seater aircraft. Fly to the halfway point, Greenland, and route to Scotland. Your aircraft isn't in finest condition. Oh. So we basically have to circle back and because our engine brakes or something? Land at your final ferry destination, Wick Airport in Scotland. Oh, let's go to Scotland. Wait, why? Wait, that was nowhere even near the UK, I think. Okay, welcome back, everyone, to Flight Sim World. If you're just tuning in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Your name will pop up here, so welcome aboard to everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. Christopher Bracken says chicken nuggets. All right. Very good. That's a good choice, sir. You know, it'll be great is when we can fly commercial aircraft and then we'll have our moderators hand out snacks for everybody. It'll be great. Uh, let's see. Hi there, Preston. Do I watch Big Brother? Not really. That's more of like a grandma that show. tune-up in Greenland, flying to Iceland and the Faroe Islands was uneventful. Now on my final leg to Scotland, storms are moving in and my engine's acting up again. This is the last time I do someone a favor. Wait. Come on, Cherokee. Keep it together for me. Oh, is the plane going to crap out on us? I thought, uh... Oh, okay. I guess our plane's having... Oh, wow, look at the water effects on the windshield. Sweet. That's cool. Hi there, Encrypted. Do I watch The Simpsons? Yeah. I like The Simpsons, too. Alright, well, we're going to see if we have some engine problems here today. I think we have to land it in order to get credit for the, for the flight time. Ooh, what was that? Is that lightning or something? Could be. You love plans? I do too. They're so fun to make and to like experience. I think he meant planes, but yeah. I think that is lightning. Oh yeah, I can hear thunder. Oh man, we're gonna get hit by lightning. We're gonna hit by lightning. Do I build gaming computers? No, but anybody can build them. They're like Legos. You just need to build the uh, buy the right parts and then you can build them. Let's actually zoom out a little bit here. There we go. Should be able to see a little bit better. There we go, guys. Alright, let's use the tail rudder to get over to the right direction. Well, too bad on that Alaska one. That one was kind of like boring, though. I guess I'll just do that one on my own. There wasn't really much to that other than flying straight line to three different locations. Your cousin thinks I'm cute? Sweet. That's nice. It's good to hear. Better than, like, ugly or scary. That's nice. You're gonna make a metrics of leadership at, that separates? What? For plans? Your brother flies a 747. That's cool. We're getting a little bit of a crosswind here, so we're trying to, uh correct that a little bit. Do I like... What? Oh, 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 wait a minute. The engine. Something happened to the engine. We're losing power. Hold on. Hold on, kids. It's gonna be icy. Oh, boy. Hold on. Hold on. Woo! Adam, thanks for saying you love the channel. I love your support. Thank you very much for your PayPal support. Or was it Super Chat? I don't think it was Super Chat. It didn't pop up. 
Watch what you're doing or you'll crash. Well, now it's now the engine's crapping out on us. You can see our airspeed is basically... You see our airspeed uh, meter broke? It's not moving around anymore, so we have to we have to basically do it by sound. Altimeter is at 5,000. What aircraft are in the game? I can't recall every one of them. There's the Piper, a couple of Diamond aircraft, mostly Piper and Diamond are in here. DC-10, that'd be cool. Alright, well, we're just going to have to see what we can do here. The engine's kind of gone foobar on us. Alright, hold on, folks. This is going to be big-o. Oh, boy. Lots of wind here. AC-1000? What the heck is that? Yeah, you're welcome, K-Chant. Enjoy your homework. Landing on a field? Well, we gotta get to this destination. I think I see the airfield down there. We might have to do a corkscrew down to it or something. We're in Scotland, remember? Or is this Ireland? Is it Scotland? I think it's Scotland. I think it's Scotland, yeah. Scotland seems beautiful. Beautiful. It's a place I gotta put on my list. Flight Sim World is in beta, so aircraft will be added in time. Yes, encrypted. I'm hoping sometime soon as well. Can't wait to try out more. Very nicely detailed interior and cockpits. Um, you know, the instruments and such are all fully functional, it seems. And they did a really good job in this game of just making beautiful skies and such. The landscapes are real good. The airports, uh, we're hoping that they up update sometime soon. They seem to be a little, uh, you know, international airports a little more dead. But... It'll, I think as soon as jets are coming along, then they'll start focusing more on the aircraft. This, this, this is a plane that I would like. Four passenger aircraft with uh, seat, seats for more. All right, we got to get all the way out here to the ocean. Oh, boy. It's going to get a little icy. Hopefully not. Otherwise, we'll have to use our de-icer. Oh, boy. Can't wait till I can get better PC, too. Oh, there we go. Airspeed's kicked on again. I guess our engine's uh, fixed itself somehow magically. Look at the air! Look at the airspeed. It's bouncing all around. It might be air pressure. I don't know, but we'll see. I am glad that we have. Uh, let's see. Turn your PITO heat on. Well, let's see what that means. I think that means the propeller heater. Let's see what that is. Propeller heater. Gun throws, thank you for subscribing. I don't think I have that. Pitch up. Uh, hit, I don't have that. Uh, I typed heat. Oh, heat. Heat. Um, what else could it be under? Wait, let's do it under. Hmm. Throttle view. I don't see it. Flaps, engine, auto start, elevator, Elyon's ATC window. Uh oh. Is he saying PLTO? I don't know what he's typing in. Well, it doesn't seem to be on the list, though. But we'll let's move. Let's uh, screw around in the cockpit. See if we can find it. I passed it. Hold on a second. Encrypted. Let's see if we can find this. But if I type in P I T O P I T O, it doesn't seem to be coming up. But let's look here. There's pause rudder up. I don't see it anywhere. Uh, let's see. Adam, thanks again for your two dollars. Round two, he says. Thank you, Adam. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Rudder, pitch, pause. Lights. Landing gear. Engine auto start trim. Checklist brake. Early ons. Eh, I, don't, I don't see it exactly. None under basics. Under all events. Oh, let's try that. Okay, that might help. P-I-T-O. Oh, there we go. Uh, P-I-T-O-T -I -I heat. Shift plus H. Okay, there we go.
Okay, whatever that is, it's on now. Let's see if I can find where that is in the cockpit. Beacon lights. I think I may have found it there a second ago. Beacon light, pilot... Oh, there it is. There, now I turned it on. Okay. P-I-T-O-T -T heater. What does that mean? I'm not sure exactly what that means. It's time to learn. P-I-T-O-T. -I, I think it stands for... Pretty Intense Time... Something. Uh, wind at altitude helps keep ice from forming and keeps your airspeed... Oh, okay. But look at that. Our airspeed's off the chart again. Of course, I think the gimmick of this uh, mission is that stuff's supposed to fail to freak you out a little bit, but it's not really anything too intense other than the airspeed meter. Ooh, there's a big old storm out there. Big old storm. Yeah, it sounds like it's getting closer for sure. Golden Freddy, welcome aboard. Okay, well, we're going to get to our destination and then land. I'm assuming this is the airfield here, so I think once we get to that me meter, we'll start coming down. I don't know. The thunder sounds like your stomach before you eat. Yeah, I bet. Speaking of thunder, by the way, the folks at War Thunder have asked me to play a little bit of War Thunder 2. So I'll be uh, doing that sometime soon. 111 likes? Awesome. Let's double it, folks. Everybody watching right now, boom. Hit that like button. Let me know you want to see more flight simulator or just simulators in general. If you like yourself a uh, farming simulator, we'll definitely play that uh, as well. And uh, let's see. PITOT tube is very important. It allows the aircraft to read airspeed measurements. It ices over the pilot tube and gives it an accurate reading. It's pretty hot, so don't touch it. Oh, okay. Well, thank you very much for that. Though I don't know if we're actually experiencing ice or if it's like some sort of a malfunction with other things. I'm not sure. It's on, though. I turned it on. Is it an acronym for something? Can you join me? On, uh, you'll have to get Flight Sim World for this. What, what are the other controls here? Let's kind of take a look here at other things. Beacon lights, landing lights, fuel pump. Apparently that's off. Okay, that doesn't sound good. Uh, engine 1 mixture control. Uh, carburetor heater. Engine one throttle. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, I think that's the horn. Horizontal situation indicator. Now oh, the engine's still going along nicely. We're still zooming. Let's hit full throttle and see what happens. Uh-oh. Oh boy, we're coming down. Altimeter's coming down. Hi there, Phoenix. Tucker, good to see you. Hi, everyone in chat. Good to see you all here today. Uh, now's a great opportunity for everyone to just say hi. So, hello. I'll say hi. And then you guys say hi, too. Hi. Hi. Hi, hi. Epic music, I know. Boy, we're really getting thrown off. I'm on, like, full throttle. She's just, she's just chugging away. This, this plane is a pain. It's like lightning everywhere. It's crazy. You're scared of heights? You know, it's interesting. We went on a helicopter, and uh, that was pretty normal. That seemed pretty normal. Roller coasters are a little different. Well, well there we go. That engine's kicking in again. We have far... Yes, Get does host a dedicated farming simulator server. If you guys would like to... Uh, 
experience the love of farming sim, which is a ton of fun, make sure you join his farming sim crew on the TeamSpeak. The TeamSpeak link is the last one in the description, so make sure you join that. And uh, you can come all, you can all come say hi to me. But the best thing is the community. They're here all the time. They're always playing sorts of games. I'm not always here. I got I got work. I got other things to do. Laundry. Sometimes I'm eating, napping. Sometimes crying. Oh, there we go. The engine's kicking on now. She's, she's awake again. There we go. Wow, this is a long mission. How do you set your subs to public? Uh, you better Google that one. I'm not sure. Take a look around the plane again. Yeah, they did a really good job of. Uh, they did a really nice job of uh, detailing and both inside and out of the planes. Uh oh, my landing gear seems to be down. We better put it up, guys. Just kidding. Is this being recorded? Yes, this will be live at a later time. Okay, so we are coming up to our next position, I guess. I think we'll circle around for a landing somewhere. I don't see a strip anywhere, though. Or an airfield, or airport, or... Boy, it's real bumpy out here, though. Bumping. Bumping out here. Do I like Little Caesar's Pizza? I can't remember the last time I had it, but... Again, there's no such thing as a bad pizza. There's only pizza that's better than others. Right now, I'm doing a one-handed flight as I try to get some water. This is one of my most critical missions yet. Oh. I think a little may have spilled. We better... Tower, Cherokee, oh. November 7210. Whiskey is 10 north. Inbound. No, I need water. Stop. No, I need water. Cherokee 10 Whiskey, okay. Ultimator 2952. Runway 13 is in use. Make a straight and approach. Report 5 mile final. Squawk 7000. Okay, so here's the deal. So Scotland's got the Scottish guy. Everywhere else, everybody's British, even in America. Like, apparently, the guys who wanted to explore Alaska, which, fair enough, there's probably tourists there. But even the guy who was, like... Ev okay, apparently all British tourists want to go to Alaska, for whatever reason. And only Scottish people, interestingly enough, can work in Scotland, apparently, I, I guess. What's my... Uh, what? What's my baddest fear? Yours is a deep, dark cave. Um... My biggest fear? Uh, I don't know, actually. I don't really have any. I mean, I guess I have fears, but it's not like... Stro oh, Strombi. We found out Strombi is, like, extremely uh, afraid of s snakes. He <laughs> we, went to a, we went to a zoo, and there was this little mouse running around on the ground because we were in, like, this... this biodome where it's like it, it shows the ecosystem they have every, everything from birds down to little you know little creatures all the way down to the little mice and rodents that live on the ground and uh so like one of them like ran across his shoe or really near his foot and he was like oh my god dude and i was like what's wrong what and it's like there's how ah, you gross dude there's mice here and then he was afraid of snakes he was like is there snakes here i'm like yeah dude there's one right next to you and he freaked out it was great does it automatically squawk for you i believe it does and i think this is the airfield up ahead I think. We'll see. Yeah, this isn't that bad, by the way, flying in this kind of weather. I mean, it's a little bumpy and shaky. I mean, I definitely wouldn't want to do it, but it's not like, you know, it's not like uh, sweat stripping off my forehead, that kind of thing. I see the airfield ahead. I don't know why the butt... Wait. What airfield are we landing at? Well, we better land at your ferry destination, Wick Airport. I guess you can land anywhere? I see there is a runway in front of us, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick that. Because it's kind of... yeah. Yes, the memes are real. Yes. I'm awesome. Wick Tower, awesome. Cherokee 10 Whiskey is 5 North. I think this is a medium mission. Cherokee 10 Whiskey cleared to land, runway 13. Clear to land, runway 13. Cherokee 10 Whiskey. Dear God, I hope... Oh, whiskey. He mentioned whiskey. Cool, let's go out for drinks, brah. But this is Scotland. You can't go to Scotland without having some scotch. Big man, thanks for your $5. Appreciate that. Thank you very much for your kindness tonight. Big man, big go support from the big man. And of course, Silent Scotty, Gene, and everyone else. Thank you very much, John, as well. You guys are awesome. Thanks for your support. Uh, have a look if you don't believe me. Uh, at what? At snakes? Now, oh, I thought there was... Is this not a runway here? Okay. 
So I guess we'll have to circle around. I thought there was a runway coming this direction, too. So we'll just circle around. It's all fine. 124 likes. All right. Keep hitting that like button, folks. Let's get her up to 200. Everybody watching right now, if you hit that like button, let's just see a nice, fat, e e even number. That's I, I like I like even numbers. That's good. 10-4, big sauce. How copy, says James. Uh, James, I don't know if I don't know if that's radio speak for an airport. That seems a little, a little bit like cowboy talk, dear guy. Oh, look at this. Oh, the weather seems to be clearing up. It looks pretty. We just got to get on the ground before uh, big o big o storm. Now the deal is, I'm gonna have to go around. Uh, I'm gonna execute a pretty tight turn here, which we probably shouldn't do. But uh, there you go. How do you send five? If you'd like to support us, you can click that little square with the dollar sign in it down below next to the smiley face or you can click the description where you can support via uh, PayPal and I will say that all of your support goes towards uh, you know hanging out with, with with my friends so we can go uh, do some cool stuff buying tickets to things uh, upgrading the computer paying the power bill paying for the internet it's all for your entertainment and it's, and it's all for the group it's not like I put it into a super secret fund where like I eat a bunch of tacos oh man that would be actually yes I will say that I will use your money for tacos so if you'd like to support tacos please do so now Otherwise, don't worry about it. Sit back and enjoy the show. You're not obligated in any way. And that was a beautiful turn. Oh, my God. Ra Raptor learning planes. He learning planes good. There you go. All right. Flaps down. We're coming in, baby. And we're not able to tell our airspeed, so this is going to be icy. Oh, boy. Well, we really need to get down. We're still about a thousand feet up. And this airport is tiny. And you can tell by the runway lights too on the left whether or not you're uh, you're square or too high, too low, that kind of thing. Landing gear is down. It's it's already down. <laughs> it's always down. I, for a second I was like, oh yeah, I do need to wait a minute. Alright, we're almost here. Alright, let's cut the power here. Uh oh. Don't do this to me, wind. Oh, now it's giving me a nice... Yeah, of course, the rain's picking up. You jerk. Last second. Let her down easy. I'll have to work on my straight away, but at least I'm not landing in the trees. All right, power's cut. Laps her more down to just reduce drag, and... Touch, baby. <laughs> hey, that's not too bad. Now, good thing is uh, Ace Combat coming out soon too, so I'm getting I'm getting excited for that. I'll be playing that one, so maybe this is a big O upgrade. Coffee said you need to drink some bourbon. Coffee's right. I would like to. I haven't. I've never really had any before. So, uh, coffee. Let's talk. You can make some suggestions. Actually, b Bullet Bourbon, I believe, is his. Uh, I believe that's like the. I think it's got the coffee seal of approval on it. So uh, there you go. Do I just come to a full stop or? Let me just come to a full stop. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I guess I was I, I was gonna get off the runway, but Finally I guess. Finally made it, and in one piece. Okay. Hopefully this gives us our two hours, or at least close. Twenty-eight minutes. Single piston at one point three eight. Let's go home, baby. We did it! Yay! 1.6 hours. What? This game's like not giving me credit. That was a single piston there. Oh my god. This game. Oh, I don't know. Well, let me let me go back to training and see what's up with that. Uh, let's go back to uh wait, no, not training. Uh how do I get back to the main big big O menu? Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh let's go to back to the UK, continue. Solo flight time 1.30 hours. Let me take my light pilot's lessons. Ah, it just means we got to play more, that's all. Oh, let's go back. Uh, let's see, that was in Germany. Let's do this one, which looks like it's in Vegas, I think. Oh, this is single, single piston. Oh, private pilot license. The other one was light aircraft license, wasn't it? Oh, maybe that's the difference. Okay. So in order to get credit for this, I have to fly a light aircraft. So what I was flying before was a private aircraft like that right there. That's a, the exact plane we were flying before. This, this is like the World War One, just a step up from biplane, basically. You're going to donate $200, but you have to leave? Okay, well, we'll see you then very soon. If you can support us, that's great. If not, that's fine, too. 
Okay, let's continue on. I think I'm gonna do. Uh, I think I want. I think. Well, let's see here. Uh, Uther's left too. I don't know. I want to do some multiplayer with the guys, but that just seems to be better when we're just able to chill. So I think I'll record those more in the future because then we can just focus on what we're doing and the guys don't have to get cut off by me thanking people for subscribing. That's easier for ATS and flying. It's probably fine in flying too, but I want to finish uh, finish more of this. So let's go back to lessons. Uh, or let's go to not Blender, but. Uh, Wait, how do I switch missions again? Oh yeah, you just click the button. There you go. Alright, so we didn't get credit for that. And by the way, when we were... This mission here, burning the candle at both ends. So it said we landed in Scotland. So, oh, I guess we took off here and then landed in Scot... What? That doesn't... That seems highly illegal. Low and fast. Uh, that's a ferry mission. Let's do... I don't know what hamburger is all about. Ten minute mission, but it's not the type of plane we want. Approaches we're done on. We've already done some taxing. Oh, this is the same. Central Europe. I think these are dual air engine aircraft here. Yep. Well, at least not light aircraft. Overpowered. What is this? Fi flying the final part of the Oh. Overpowered. Big O. Big O power. What is paprika? Paprika is a spice. Usually you have it on deviled eggs. So if you've ever had like the, you know, the hard boiled egg where it's cut in half and then it's like a creamy, it's usually mixed with like mayonnaise and a few other things. It's popular in Scandinavia and where I'm from because most people are from Scandinavia. Um, it's kind of more of a traditional thing over there, but every, every time there's like a big O event, people make deviled eggs. And so paprika is that red stuff, that those little red flakes. And it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a sweeter pepper. Kind of like a chili, yeah. It is like a chili, Peter. Yeah. So there you go. You you love to come and chill and fly. I I want that too. Def, make sure you get this game. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to play single player till I get my thing up. But we can play multiplayer anytime. And the cool thing about multiplayer is when we go to play multiplayer, you can basically host a server and like you would in free flight, and then you can basically go anywhere you want in pretty much any plane. Um, well, actually, you can in any plane that's available, I should say. But uh, they have yet to add a lot more planes. It's all good. They'll, they'll add more soon. They got a lot of good work done so far. It's a pretty solid game. I'll admit that. And then looks like there's only like one person in multiplayer. But if you guys come on to the team speak, we can do it. All right, I'm going to do another single engine aircraft. It seems like the one that I blew from earlier with the uh, Alaskan flight kind of sucked because I was pretty, doing pretty good with this one. Return to base camp. You'll need to hurry. All right, let's do that one. We're already We're already good under pressure, so let's do that. That's about the only thing paprika is good for, as far as I know, says Nick. Yeah, I, Nick, I can't, I, I can't even name another thing that you would use paprika for. I'm sure there's some recipe that, you know, if somebody says you'd be like, oh, okay, but you'd probably never taste it. LT, thank you very much for subscribing. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if people make it their secret ingredient and stuff, but it really, it's so light, or you want to use so little of it that it doesn't really, it, it's, it, it's just bleh. Okay, let's go. Time pressure. Let's go. Uh, how well can you take is spicy foods? Is there nothing foods? we can do to make mm -hmm. up time and get back to base camp before dark? Oh, this you is. Want to go for it? We can push it and try to make up a bunch of time. This is the we second part of that mission. We are going to have to travel fast, so it's your call. I'll need to know what you want to do right now. Hey, man, fast is not a problem. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go fast. Mesa radio, Cub one four. No time. Taking off runway three zero VFR to the north. No time for radio. Mesa. We have twelve minutes. Oh my God! Can Mr. Dinosaur make it? We're gonna get a nice view of the sunset up here. That's for sure. Keep it real. Thanks for subscribing. You don't talk like that. I was just making fun of that guy's voice. It's funny because, like, you know, Brit Brits laugh when Americans make fun of their voice. That's how. That's probably how we do it. And for them, it's always funny because they, they always have to... Whenever a British person makes an American accent, the voice always goes up, and they always talk about cheeseburgers. It's like, uh, it'd be like, uh, hey, Twin Cam, uh, do an American accent, accent. And it's like, oh, okay. Uh, I would like to buy a cheeseburger. Well, that's how it is every time. <laughs> it's funny. You got to love the Brits. 
Yeah, Brits are cool. In fact, I would say probably my favorite streamer is probably British uh, Squirrel. Squirrel's a damn fine streamer. I never get to, I never watch him because I'm always busy doing my own thing. But every time I see Squirrel live, I'm like, man, that's a good streamer. That's a good community that he's made. Planes, trains, automobiles. I've just had a lot of fun with that kind of stuff. Usually, um, you know, playing World War II games and stuff. But those kind of, you know, they're usually strategy games or FPSs, and those get kind of boring quick because. Without mods, they're kind of boring. Meta War Assault Squad is kind of an exception, but uh, do a cowboy accent? Oh boy, I better not. All right, Super Jordan, take care. Uh, do I know Florida's going under? Well, I don't know how that's going with that tw uh, hurricane right now. I I guess I haven't been really watching. I mean, right now, kind of where I am right now, it's not like we have a secret or anything like that. Matthew Hart, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, let's see. What do you know? Stat of what? No, I, I don't know, Drew. You'll have to. I think you have to type that again. Oh, and we got 131 likes. Great. Yeah, it's not all about the likes, but it is nice to know that people are liking what they're seeing. So, again, if you want to see more, go ahead and hit that like button. And I think in the future here, streams are going to be real quiet, real calm, because these types of nights, people. Kids are doing school, you know, they're doing their homework and stuff like that, or they're in bed because it's a school night, that kind of thing. Pretty much after Labor Day, it's all it's all quiet around these parts, which is fine by me. It means we get to kind of have a little bit more of a relaxed stream, which is cool. I wish we could have, like, you know, 10,000 viewers be this chill, but if you've ever seen, like, a big, big O stream, it's nothing but, like, super chat, super chat, super chat, and then just st stuff flying by so fast you can't even read anything. Uh, let's see, Jess Fang, I got the story, Dave. Oh, cool, Nick. Very nice. Oh, we'll do spin tires when we do spin tires. Uh, isn't what you're flying a light aircraft? That's right, DX. And as soon as we land this, we'll get credit for additional flight time. We're gonna, we're going, I'm going as fast as I can, so. We'll see if we can get there in nine minutes. I'm pretty. Sh I'm pretty sure it's. Uh, pretty sure we'll make it on time. Do I know the statistics of a hurricane? Oh, of the hurricane. Uh, no, not really. I guess there's just so much of that. I don't know. There's so much going on in the news. It's just. I just kind of like don't even want to. I feel like I don't. I feel like a bad person for not knowing the news, but also I feel. <laughs> I feel happier by just saying screw this. I'm gonna go play games. So. uh... Yeah, I guess Nick T will give you the latest and greatest news. Biggest updates here. Rat Pack News. We gotta get Nick like a little reporter hat. It'll say press on the side of it. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get him a fedora and then he can tip it. Hello, my lady. Oh. Nick totally wouldn't do that. Nick would rather go to like a. I think Nick would rather go go karting. And I'm with Nick. Be like, uh, hey Nick, I don't have a date tonight. You want to go out go karting? Yeah, okay, let's go. Actually, we, all right. Everyone's invited for go karts. You know where? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Where are go karting games? Why? Why are there no go karting race games? If you think about it, there's a million race games for like uh, motorcycles and boats and planes. I mean, heck, you can even race planes in this game. Where's the go karts, bro? Is there any go kart racing game? Because that sounds like it would be cool. Imagine if you could make your own go kart racing track and then invite all your friends and then play it. I'm talking first person, high quality. Or lawnmower races, guys. I, I gotta get out of here. We gotta, we gotta Mario Kart. All right, touche. But I mean, like a real, real, like, re I mean, I'm talking real stuff. I've raced go karts before, by the way, and that's that's a ton of fun. But uh, you gotta like, you gotta really know the track. I worked at a go kart track during high school. Nick, all right. Nick has all these cool jobs. I didn't know that about Nick. Well, I guess we learned something here tonight. That's really cool. Now, was it gas or electric? And if it was gas, how many cc's? Cause sometimes they do indoor places with electric, which is cool, too, because, I mean, some people underestimate electric, but electri electric is like zero to a thousand and a half second. It's crazy. Eating stream again? Maybe. So. I know. You guys, you guys like whatever I do, so I thank you for your support. And, again, if you do like it, remember to hit the like button on whatever I'm doing. Ezra, thank you very much for subscribing. 245 cc, somebody said. Uh, eating stream turns me on. Wow. You know what turns me on to other games is subscribing to this channel. That's something that really turned a lot of people on to different types of games and such. So it's a really good idea to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So uh, make sure you guys 
Uh, subscribe if you do. Your name will pop up, and of course, you'll know whenever we go live or whenever a video goes up. That kind of things. You, you've done go karting before, Peter? Yeah, go karting's pretty. Just it. I like the the whole competitive aspect's cool, but I do like the fact that it's almost like your own personal roller coaster ride. Especially if you... When we went in the Netherlands, I went to the Netherlands to go go-karting, and uh, they had, like, a multi-story place. So, like, you would go up and up and up and then down and down and down. So it was a cool... It was like a cool rectangle... It was like a square-shaped building with multiple floors, and then you would just go up and then back down. It was really cool. A lot of American places are all outdoors, like NASCAR-looking kind of things, and that... and that Well, not just NASCAR, but sometimes they have more unique tracks than just... I don't... Actually... They have NASCAR, they're, you know, they pick the NASCARs, but they're not like a NASCAR track. I mean, it's kind of hard to be aerodynamic when 80% of your body's literally sticking on the top of the vehicle. But in conclusion, go-kart's cool. Me like. Very fun. And in fact, <clears throat> if I was like a big O YouTuber, that would be the coolest thing in the world is to be like, uh, to have my own go-kart track, and then you guys could all come over. Oh, it'd be awesome, man. I'll sell brats and stuff at the driveway. It'd be awesome. Uh, where am I from? Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, let's see. Nick said they were 15-horse Honda GX engines. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I race an Oval Legend low, fast go-kart with 12... Oh, my God. 1,200 cc's? Dear God. Yeah, go-kart's a lot faster than you think it is because, really, there's nothing to the go... I think the heaviest thing on the go-kart, other than the uh, engine, is probably the wheels, and then after that, it's got to be the passenger. Yeah, broad comp. Yeah, Papa Pom. I don't know what the hell I was... I was just hungry. I should have. I should have waited. That night... We came back to the to the house. We were gonna watch that. Uh, we watched that um, McGregor um, Mayweather fight, and uh, before we did, we stopped at like Strami wanted to stop at Taco Bell, and Palm went across the street to uh, uh, Burger King, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I, Papa Palm, like, if you need someone to talk to that boy and like be a good, you know, like, it, like if you want an outside role model, let me know because he couldn't even finish his bacon cheeseburger. I was. I almost cried. I was I was about to ready to put my arm around him and be like, "Come on, man, you can do this. Like, you gotta grow up sometime." Nah, it was cool. It was actually it was nice of him. He's like, "You want the rest of this?" It's like he didn't even eat it. We, man, we gotta get food for Palm, guys. I'm gonna start a charity stream. Food for Palm. We're just gonna start getting him uh, pepperoni pizza. Nah, it was cool. Wow, actually, now that I think of it, I ate like half of Palm's everything. He probably wasn't too hungry though because he was. Um, he was more focused on his homework. He, d he did his stuff. He did what he's supposed to do. I guess that was part of the deal, probably. Like, you, you can go, but you gotta do your homework, which, fair enough. That was very nice of you guys to have him out, too, by the way. So, uh, remember, Papa Pom, anytime we do anything in the future, Nick, you guys, too, everybody, uh, if we ever go anywhere uh, and you guys want to come along, feel welcome. Like, we might stop uh, some places publicly, so you guys might be able to come along. I see the airfield. Looks like it's coming in from the river, I think. Is that is that it? Is that the airfield? I hope so. What am I doing, spin tires? I don't know. Sometime in the future. Man, we gotta Sun find some more cool fast. stuff to do. Doesn't the airport close at dark? Airport closes at dark. Like that's it. No, no other airplanes can land. They're just gonna cut us off. We gotta go to Japan. I think that's the next thing that we're gonna do. Man, that would be so cool to bring everyone to Japan and climb Mount Fuji. Take a picture on the top of Mount Fuji. Now that would be quite an incredible thing. I'll put a thing out there. I think we got to go UK. We got to go to Japan. It's going to be cool. All right. Well, we're pretty much speeding the whole time. Uh, we had some good altitude going over that mountain. Now we're at about 2,000 feet. I think that is that the airfield. I think it is. We're going to circle in for a landing. You looked it up. It's 250 cc's. Okay. I wish I was more of a Mario Kart player too. Mario Kart's fun. That'd be great. You'll see us there. Good. Well, I know we got a lot of fans in the UK, uh, from Defo Git to uh, Twin Cam and uh, a few other people who play Men of War with us and such. And a lot, of, a lot of great people out there in the UK. And the nice thing about the UK is um, it is a it's a great country, but it's a very, and I mean this in the politest way, it's a small country and it's very connected with huh. rail and and uh, air. Lake. So uh, with that, Harlequin Lake Radio, Cub One Four Four, landing runway zero. Oh dear God, we got two minutes. Hold on a second. Wait, where the hell's the air? Is this the... Oh, that's the runway? Oh, dear God. But yeah, anyway. Uh, in conclusion, UK, awesome. Can't wait to go. A lot of good people there. Lots of monuments, lots of uh, history, and a ton of museums, which, like, is my favorite, by the way. You're a real Italian from, like, Italy? Straight up Italy, yo? All right, hold on. We gotta, we gotta set this thing down. I'm gonna focus for two minutes here, guys. And yeah, I'm American. I'm from uh, M Minneapolis, Minnesota. 
pretty much lived in Minnesota my whole life. Heritage is Polish and German, so a lot of good foods from both sides there. And uh, got to visit Germany twice, and uh, the Germans there kind of, they really liked me. They liked killing me with food. They, they tried to, like, give me every single thing in the book. Oh, boy. Hold on a sec. Oh, I guess the timer is... Ex what? Oh, I reached the airfield, so the time is over? I was getting all, like, panicked. So much for the airstrip. Okay, and so much for that landing. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, and we're dead. Okay, great. <clears throat> yeah, that looks pretty safe to me. The airbag's deployed, and it's a Volvo, so we're okay. Uh, what was that? I guess I hit the brakes too hard. Are the brakes in the front? <laughs> Oh, wait. Do I get credit for this flight time? 31 minutes. Come on, baby. Give me that flight time. Wow. I, did, I had... Alaska's like deadly territory for me. Oh, the game doesn't give me credit for this. Come on. I flied. It's all good. All right. Breaking. Landing is different. Over the water was a bad one, but this one was like unexpected. Are the brakes just in the... Are the brakes just... Wait, how the hell did I go over... I don't know. Got to put those flaps down. It doesn't matter too much to me, though, so long as we're getting more experience in the game and also uh, some flight time. What's up there, Brooklyn Bridge? And hello there, uh, Neo. Good to see you all in chat. Uh, Smenterling, that late German to English? Huh? What? I know the Germans speak a more, uh, or not speak, but write in a more uh, updated uh, or a more simplified German, which isn't, it's not like it's overly simplified. It's just some, there's some rules and such in English that change, or in uh, German that change. What is that? Oh, snow and such. Oh, that tells you exactly what the weather conditions are, the plane, and the time. But that's a little frustrating on that mission. But it does teach me some good lessons about braking and such. Those light aircraft, I actually have only had trouble with those light aircraft. They're a little they're a little too uh, too light for me. I like the, uh, you know what I think I like the most is this plane here. The uh, Piper, uh, the PA-34. That, I think, is my favorite. That looks really cool. Uh, Logan, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Nice to have you here. All right. Well, folks, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Next time you guys see me, we might be doing some multiplayer and such. I'm going to keep working on those missions on the side. I just don't like how it like it kind of like is kind of stingy about giving you hours uh, in in uh, in the flight simulator. I should have had my license by now, or at least be able to take my test. Uh, but they keep. Every time I don't finish a mission, it, it doesn't seem like they want to give me the uh, the points. So I'll finish up the two that I goofed up on on my own and stuff. We basically did it. I just need to stick stick the landing, bro. Get good. So there you go. All right, everyone. You have yourself a good night. I will see you all very soon. Uh, I don't know what we'll be doing tomorrow. I don't know when we'll be streaming next or anything like that. So just make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that bell button so that way you're notified anytime we go live. Hopefully you folks have a good rest of your week. I... I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow, but I will definitely be streaming again this week. I just don't know when. So, take care. I will see you all uh, very soon. And uh, thank you very much, DX Realism, for the uh, note on the uh, tail draggers then. And uh, I guess that makes sense that the brakes would be there. All right, you all keep it real. Have a good uh, day at school, rest of your week, uh, work, family. Hope everything works out for you. Get that promotion. Get out there. Try something new. Cook something new. And, of course, uh, if all else fails, you guys can just learn how to... Uh, do s learn some magic tricks. That's all you gotta do. That's pretty much life. It's all I ever do at job interviews. Just like, and tell us your qualifications. And then all you do is you just pull a quarter out from behind their ear. Hired. That's how I worked at that nuclear plant back in the 80s. Alright, anyway, I will see you all very soon. You all take care. Some of you guys who are old enough to remember the Soviet Union will get that joke. I will see you all next time. Bye! <sighs>